today I just want to show you a really simple indexing method. So uh, what I've got here is uh, I've got a couple of rings. Uh, these ultimately will hold like a uh, sort of little telescope and uh, it needs three holes in it basically so I can put these little adjustment screws in for alignment. And um, you know they're obviously set at, uh, well there's three points so 120 degrees apart and rather than sort of setting, setting up uh, you know my mandrel at the back uh, you know with my indexing plunger etc etc um, I've just come up with a, a really simple way of doing this and um, it involves the tool post drill which um, this is the tool post drill um, I built this a, a while back it's basically just a um, a bush in there with a with a couple of a couple of bearings inside one each end and uh, that just allows allows that to rotate. It's got a little tiny um, chuck on the end. I think it's a point point yeah point three of a millimeter to four mil. Um, the idea I got from Steve Jordan. He's on his YouTube channel. So if you sort of search for Steve Jordan uh, tool post drill, it's it's not to the same design as his. I sort of made it myself. He uses a collet uh, uh, chuck at the end. But you know it's it's very sim very similar actually, no real differences, and obviously that's mounted to a quick change tool post, so that will just uh, that can drop on onto the um, the lathe in that position, so you can drill, so you can drill, uh, you know indexed holes, uh, into in, you know into into something like this which I'm doing today, or of course you can um, reconfigure that so that it will mount. You know, in in the in the front side of the tool post, so you can drill holes. You know, in a say a cylinder cover or something if you need. Um, you know, a bolt circle. Um, but today, I'm I like I say, all I want to do is um, drill three holes in uh, some discs of aluminium. Uh, I've done that one already, obviously. So uh, this is the one I'm going to do today. So. First of all, obviously, I just want to uh, pop that um, into the chuck. So I'll just make sure that's fully firmed back. Pop that on there. Just turn that light on. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. And uh, obviously, I want to also just drop in the tool post drill. I've already aligned this to the positions where I want it, so it's sort of uh, central around the. Uh, you know, across the disc. So obviously I want to put uh, three holes at 120 degrees apart. So obviously this being a, a three jaw chuck, the jaws are 120 degrees apart. So what I've came up with is it's basically just a, a brass bar, which is, um, I've, I've turned it down to exactly three and a quarter inches. Obviously with my lathe being three and a half inches and the chuck jaws here are half an inch. So that three and a half inches uh, brings me to the centre of the jaw. So all I need to do down the down on the uh, the bed of the lathe here, I just simply pop this spacer in, and I can rotate the chuck around so that that then holds that firmly. And we know that uh, this jaw here is parallel to the drill. So the next thing I need to do is grab my drill. So I just use a, uh, a standard battery drill and I can attach that to the spindle of the drill and uh, the drill has got, uh, I made a stop here actually on, on the, um, the tool post grinder, I made a stop so I can adjust that to allow me so I don't obviously go in too far or anything like that and all I need to do is firmly hold the chuck so it's pressing down against that point there against that block on the chuck and I can drill my first hole and there you have it as you see the drill breaks through but the stop stops the drill and then all I have to do now is take the spacer out rotate the chuck around put the spacer back in down onto a hard stop again and I'm ready to drill my second hole. And 
and rinse and repeat. Hole number three. So there we have now three holes which are obviously evenly spaced, 120 degrees. Now if I wanted to add six, say make six holes, I could then move the stop to the other side of the chuck. Let's just clean that off, get rid of the swarf. And I could drop that in there and I will then be able to drill uh, holes which are, you know, at uh, well, 60 degrees from each other. Obviously, as it is at the moment, you know, my drill would actually come into uh, contact with the with the inside of the jaw. But you know, if you had something else, you could you could do six holes quite easily by just using a spacer such as this. And it's it's just a a really really simple method, which just saves you a lot of time. Uh, you know, where you can. Um, Make three holes. I don't know if you can see them. Just make three holes uh, in your whatever you want to drill. And um, obviously, I'd, I'd run a tap through there. I've took that off actually, so I'll just run the tap through manually. Uh, but you could also, you know, swap the drill out, put a tap in, and just uh, just tap that out as well. So a really simple method. Uh, so there you go. And it's uh, my indexing. Uh, it says six jaw index on there. I built this originally for my six jaw chuck, but I, th I then realized I could just simply do it with the with a three jaw as well. So just a, a simple tip for bolt hole circles or you know circumference circles, whatever you need, nice and easy to do. Thanks for watching. Uh...